Hey you guys, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is Orion West and today we'll be changing the oil and filter in a Honda Accord CL9 2.4 liter K24. Uh, this engine is in the tools we'll be using today, or the equipment as it were. We'll be using a Ryko filter. Ryko. And we'll be using Castrol Edge. 5W40. It says 5W30, but this one was on super special, so we're using that one. Even though Honda's are better than those. Anyway, so you'll need that, that, you'll need uh, jacks, stands, and a generic uh, socket set. And uh, we'll get into it. Uh, firstly, I'll show you how to jack it up, and then I'll show you uh, where the where you drain the oil out and make sure you get the pan ready. And then I'll show you where the filter is. Right, yeah, coming up first. First thing you want to do is actually check the oil. So I like to change the oil uh, every like six or nine months. But since I'm using fully synthetic, um, yeah, every nine months will about do. So first thing you want to do is you're going to check that, check the fluids. See, you can see it there, maybe like that. Yeah, you can see it there. It's a bit black, a little bit of gold in it, but it is time to uh, it is time to change it there. So I'll just wipe that there. So you can see it's pretty black. It's supposed to be gold. Oil levels are still good, so that's all good. So we'll put that back in there. And I'm just going to run you through how I normally change the oil anyway. Oh, that ran the right way. It'll help out lots. And that's just the little, uh, little orange thing there where you check the oil. This is where we'll be pouring the oil in. It's the owner's manual. But I've done it before, so I know it's uh, 5W30 or 5W40. Right here, oh there. Now we've got it jacked up. We've got it jacked up there. One, two jacks. Always jack it up. Don't ever hop under there without a jack. I always use the, uh, always use the jacket. Ugh. So when you jack it up, just so just underneath the license plate, you come under here, just here. See, it's a bit dented and a bit crippled here. So this is where you actually jack it up. Uh, Honda have these. <sighs> Don't just go hopping underneath the car. You first, you want to, first you want to like shake it a bit give it a good shake and then even like use your hip right here and forward of course right here so as that is that's about right here next part of the journey there's a 10 millimeter 10 millimeter a uh, little wee uh, I don't know screw bolt whatever you want to call it and that's just in the way here. Ugh. We're under. If you just come back here, right here. This is this. There's a little flap here, and this this bolt just came from out of there. And that's a ten millimeter. So you just undo that. Leave that right there, and then you undo this. This just gets undone just like that, just like that. And now, the bolt that we're after to drain the oil out is right there. That's it right there. And that is a 17, where's the camera? 17 millimeter. So we're going to put that on there, drain the oil. Radio. so I've just been underneath, I just, uh, I just used, uh, I just went rah like that. I went rah like a dinosaur, and I just cracked the nuts. So the nuts just sitting in there. Uh, but the next thing you want to do is you want to open this. Open up where you put the oil in. <laughs> Sorry about the quality. Right here, so I've got my pan, got my uh, got my drip pan if it were. Right here, so we're just gonna, I use a 17 millimeter to get rid of this. Where's the camera? That, that bolt right there. So I just cracked it. Cracked it means I'm um, just loosened it, I guess. Ugh. And now we're just gonna undo it. Just, uh, I don't, there's no really method to putting this under. You can, you can put some newspaper down if you want extra little metal piece that oh where is it the watch is the extra little metal piece that comes off so we'll come back when this is fully drained out right here so we're just finishing we're just finishing up draining up there so i've got my little bolt there can you zoom while i'm doing oh awesome so that's the bolt that came out just drizzling out i thought i'd just quickly take a second to actually have a look at the oil we're using so the oil we're using is edge stronger but um as long as i'm using the fully synthetic i don't really have a problem with it and this car's done 250,000 k's and it's still running good 
and it still doesn't leak so yeah that must be the secret I guess just keep using good oil advanced fuel full synthetic engine oil and this is for everything it's just coming down to the drain there so next we will next we will we'll let that drain out let that drain out and then we'll get our cloth and we'll wipe all that up and then we'll we'll put that plug back on with the washer we'll give that a little yeah like I said before I've never used um I've never used engine flush or anything like that because I always change my oil on time so this is the last oil that I actually used and this is um 1040 Fuchs Fuchs uh German technology and that's a uh, high performance uh fully synthetic so yeah like I said though there's always like a little bit left whenever I'm finished like just a tiny bit out of a five liter what I might do I might just pour that in there and the sump plug is open so I'm not an idiot there we go and that just I don't know just give it that final little flush I guess and then uh so the next the next uh tank we'll be doing we'll be putting the washer back on excellent Right there, we're back underneath the car, and I've just flushed through that last little bit of fresh oil there, and you can see through the oil. So that just must be that last bit of clean oil I put in. It's <laughs> washer bolt right here. I can't see the camera. Okay, there. There we go. So we're just gonna get this. Just give it a little wipe down. Then you'll have double. Anyway, I think that's just about. Just about coming up to an end there. Oh, I'm stuck under the car. There we go. Oh yeah. So now we're just going to just push that up there, give that a little wipe there, drop it in there, I hope the camera can see me, and we're just going to give it just a little bit of, about that, that's about it, like, once it's tight, that's it, that's enough, like, but I could probably go, rawr, like that, and go. Just preparing our uh, oil filter before I go in and get the other one off, so this is the Z. 411 comes with a uh, plastic wrap in there so stuff doesn't get in. So I'll just show you how I prep it there. There's a good spot. Put that there. So there's a little plastic. So what we're going to do, we're going to use some a little bit of oil here. And we're just going to pour it in. And it doesn't need to be full, but it does need to be. We do need to have some oil in it. Like just get it around this rubber edge here. Because if you've ever undone one of these, and the person before you hasn't done that, uh, it can be real, uh, really difficult. Because it likes to make sure that this plastic bit is off the other one, otherwise you'll be double sealed, and then it won't have an actual proper seal, because it won't have uh, one of screwing right in, and then you'll be in trouble. Then oil will leak. Radio, so I'm just putting my gloves on. My phone's on the ground. Radio then. Let's go. Grr. I'm about 30 years young, so crawling under the car isn't really that much fun. Any this is about at the, hello, at the yeah, license plate. Anyway, so the oil filter we're after is that right there. That right there, so, so where's the wheel? So there's the wheel. There's the wheel right there. The thing there, that's what we're after. And we want to turn that like we're opening a carton of milk. So I'll get into that. And as you can see, it's on an angle. So my phone, my phone right now is flat on the ground. Back up there, I have no idea. Anyway, so I'll, I'll remove that and I'll show you, uh, show you what that comes out like. Yeah, I just got it off. Uh, as you can see, I put the oil pan there. And uh, see, well, when you pull the uh, when you pull the filter off, you just put it right there. There's the number of it, Z144 or Z411. Sorry, and that's just come from up there. And as you can see, it's just dripping everywhere. Because Honda are geniuses and they love to do that. I'm just going to see if I can get the phone actually up there. Alright, yeah. This is very difficult. So, that right there, that is where the oil filter plugs into. Right there. So, past the drive line where it's dripping everywhere. Now it's dripping on my arm. That's it. And that's where the oil filter plugs into. Alright, so we'll just try and get my hand out of there. And I'm covered in oil. Great. There's the old oil filter there. Right here, and we're there. So I've just installed the new filter there. So when you're doing it up, you just want to tighten it just enough. Like you want to tighten it like you're tight tightening a card of milk. Like you don't want to go so tight that it clicks around and round and round. You just want to tighten it just enough. So 
that's it there. It's still dripping from the old oil because the old oil is just dripped everywhere. It's Honda Geniuses like that. Well, that's a pretty good shot right there. So that perfect seal. Look at that. Anyway, I'll show you what's uh, next on the to-do list. Rightio, so we're up to about last checks now. So underneath you want to check that the oil filter was tightened on properly. You want to make sure that the oil filter sump plug was tightened on properly. And you want to make sure that that little, that little uh, door trap is put back on. So, uh, once all that's done, we'll drop the car down, we'll take it off the jacks, and then we'll uh, start pouring the oil in. Right here, here we are, so the car's all jacked down, all back on all fours as it were. I got the uh, little, little funnel there, ready to top it up. Oh yeah, I'm just going to get our oil there and start top. And here we are, we're about to top it up. I just got this tripod stand there, so I've got both my hands free. Oh, which way is going to be the best to do this? Five. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Anyway, so we want, we'll want to leave it. We want to keep pouring until we get it to about there. So that'll be four litres. And away we go. And this is fully, fully synthetic. So it's basically just pouring in water. It's, it's thinner than canola oil. It is thin. But, you know, the thinner it is. Anyway, so we'll look there. It's about four and a half, or four point two or whatever. Yeah, yeah, a little more. Oh, it's more difficult than it looks. Radio. Yeah, so the fully synthetic is always the way to go with the with the Honda with the VTEC because it's radio. So the car is running now. Sounds perfect. I just want to let it warm up a little bit and then we'll check the oil again and then we'll just make sure it's uh, up and running. Hey, uh, thanks for watching today's video. My name's Orion West 650. Uh, if you like that, subscribe. Uh, I can change oil on most cars. Uh, the next car I'm going to do is a Suzuki Swift Sport 1.6. Anyway, that's the uh, 2.4 litre VTEC there. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Whoa, cat. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks.